Hello everybody and welcome back to the training room. Today I want to give you some tips on some tools that might be able to help you with your model railroad layout. Have you ever been excited to run some trains and you power up your transformer or your power packs and you push those throttle levers and the train doesn't go anywhere? Sometimes no matter how clean your track is, or the pickup rollers on your locomotive, no matter how much you clean them, sometimes that electrical contact is not there and it's not receiving that electricity to make it run. So sometimes you either have to reach or climb on top of your table or go from underneath and come out one of your openings in order to nudge that train just a little bit for better electrical contact and then it'll run again. And then you can run your trains normally. Well, sometimes that happens to me and it's a little frustrating. Again, I have to reach over and possibly damage something on my layout or climb on top or go from underneath. And sometimes I just don't feel like doing that. So I'm either running around trying to find a broomstick or something that's long enough in order to push the train. So I did a little bit of research and I was able to find this telescoping rod or telescoping pole and it opens up to six feet and it works perfect for pushing that locomotive. For better electrical contact, all you need to do is just give a little tap sometimes. And you can see it's six feet tall. It has a flat blunt end, which works out perfectly. It's almost like shooting pool. And you could push that train just a little bit and the pickup roller will, will move underneath and make better electrical contact with your track and your trains will run again. And then you just simply fold it away and put it and put it away. Next up, we have these makeup brushes that are very soft. They're for applying makeup to your skin, but they work great for dusting off your buildings or dusting off your locomotives. So they're nice and soft. They won't pull and they won't do any damage. And again, they're perfect for dusting off your model cars, your buildings, your trains, your freight cars, anywhere that dust has collected, your control panel, so these work great. They come in packs. You can get multiple of them or you can get individual ones, whatever works best for you. But again, these are for applying makeup to your skin. So they're very, very soft, but they work well in dusting your layout. And then for larger dusting is your standard dust brush. Again, if you want to dust off a building or a larger locomotive quickly or your control panel surface, your standard duster will do the job very well. Now here I have a pickup tool. It's a foldable pickup tool that once you put it together, you can pick up things from across the layout. You can pick up, you know, all of these little miscellaneous items or figures or scenery or your freight cars. It opens and closes and it gives you, you know, you can give you that reachability across your layout to pick up those items. So again, you don't have to climb on top or go from underneath to access a lot of these areas on your layout and it folds back up nicely and you can put it away. And these are just some of the tools that you can keep in your train room that make it easy for you to operate your layout. Here I have a precision set of screwdrivers, Phillips and flat, and they come in a set. And they're small enough where you can get to those little screws on your locomotives or your rolling stock if you need to change traction tires or any work that you need to do and get to those fine little screws, a precision screwdriver set, that'll work very well. And last but not least, I use this set of binoculars here. Now I know how that sounds guys, but you know, when, some, when something happens on the far end of the layout and I really need to get up close and see what it is without having to go there each and every single time, I was able to find these binoculars. These are compact binoculars. So in other words, they're able to enhance an image within 25 feet. A normal pair of binoculars normally can't do that. So within 25 feet, the image would remain fuzzy or not clear or just be too large. So I can see pretty much something that's going on on the far end of my layout, such as the track switches. I have 44 switches and most of them are located on the far end of the layout. So I'd like to know the switch position before I operate just to make sure to prevent derailments. Now my control panel does indicate that, but I'm not always at the control panel. So when I'm standing here or someplace else 
and I need to look down, you know, down the line of the track to the far side of the layout, or if I need to see the position of the turntable in relation to the whisker tracks. Now you can see my turntable is located pretty much on the far side of my layout. And I just want to make sure that that turntable is properly aligned with the whisker tracks before I move the locomotive. I've had several instances where it's derailed and I just want to make sure before I operate the locomotive that I can see that I'm properly aligned between the turntable and the whisker tracks. And these binoculars, they work perfect. These are Carson. These are 10 by 25. I have actually, I have two pairs. One is stronger than the other for seeing, you know, further down the layout and the smaller pair works very well for seeing up close. And again, if you want to see if your rolling stock has derailed and you're not, you're just not sure. So this way you don't always have to go there. You can see the position of the wheels or the position of your switches or the position of your track with a compact set of binoculars. They work very well. So that's it guys. I just wanted to share some tips on some cool tools that I use that work very well on my layout that could possibly help you operate yours. Thank you again. Until next time. Bye for now. Thank you.